Hello, my name is Yixin Su. I'm a master's student at Brandeis University in the United States. The paper we'll be presenting today is titled Time Series Analysis in Fraser Stock Price in the Pre- and Post-COVID-19 Scenarios. I will introduce my paper in these four parts. The first one is introduction. The second one is method. The third one is result, and the last one is conclusion. Now I will start my presentation from introduction part. In this part, my paper shows some background knowledge of my research. The first part is introduction of Pfizer. It is a multinational pharmaceutical company that specializes in the research, development, manufacturing, marketing, and sales of pharmaceuticals. The stock market has rewarded the pharmaceutical companies as the best with some of the highest return industries. So, the stock price is worth analyzing. This, piece, this paper shows Pfizer stock price from 2006, March 6, to 2023, March 6, as research data site and tried to research for the potential pattern of the stock price. It also concludes in the impact of COVID-19. At the beginning of 2020, there was an outbreak of COVID-19. The world economy has been hit hard and the stock price of majority company have different degrees of decline. But Pfizer is, is special because of the announcement of vaccine. This slide shows the, the, structure, of, the structure of my paper. My paper starts from the introduction part and then move on to the my third. Besides the data description and data virtualization, it also concludes the interrupted time series analysis to research the impact of vaccine. And it also concludes three time series model, which is ARIMA model, ISARIMA model, and LSTM model. I use this three model to do some model fitting, model performance estimating, and uh, stock price forecasting works. And uh, in the end, my paper concludes the research result and uh, had the conclusion part. Now let's move on to the myself part of my presentation. To make the result more precise, the adjusted close price is chosen to present the stock price. This study aimed to investigate the predictability of Pfizer's stock price both pre and post COVID-19. The data set is downloaded from Yahoo Finance. This slide shows the auto plot of my time series. From the figure, we can see that the effect of financial crisis and its recovery may seen in the sharp drop that occurred around 2008 to 2009. In the following times, the stock price has a stable pattern with uh, increasing volatility. After the COVID-19 outbreak of 2020, there was a click upward trade in the stock price. There will be verified in the next part. And then is the ARIMA model method. ARIMA model is also called autoregressive interrupted one year average. The equation is shown on the slide. And then is the ISARIMA model. ISARIMA model can be seen as an extension of a RIMA model in order to include a seasonal fact. Its equation is also shown in the slide. And then is the LSTM model. LSTM model is a subclass of RNS model that 
both include the immediate dependence and the remote dependence. The equation is as follows. And my time series is uh, regard to a range of zero to one to fit this model. And then let's focus on the effect of the announcement of vaccine. To estimate its significant, I chose interrupted time series analysis. This is clearly is on the top of the slide, and uh, the slide is also uh, include a figure to have a better uh, see. We can see that the important part is beta 2 and beta 3. If beta 2 and beta 3 is statistically significant, then the effect of this matter is statistically statistical significant. And then let's move on to the second part of my research, which is the result. This slide shows the result of a RIMA model. We can see that the RIMA model uh, prediction shows the feather stock price should show applied trade, which is a blue line. But it don't fit well to the red line, which is the real price. Also, the confidence level, which is the shadow section, have a wide range of prediction intervals, which is not covered enough to meet the requirements for the model prediction in real situation. So at that time, I guess I can't use this model to do the final prediction. And then let's focus on the SRM model result. Uh, the result uh, shows there is uh, increasing volatility uh, in the later part of the time series, which is also don't fit well to the right, right line, but it performed better than the ARIMA model. Also, the confidence level is also too wide to meet the requirement of real situation. Then let's move on to the LSTM model. The right figure shows the LSTM model fit well to the real price. But to make our final decision, I choose MIC to do the comparison. MIC is mean squared error. And the smaller MIC shows the better the model performance. And the equation is shown on the slide. Uh, the table shows the LSTM model has the smallest MIC compared with the RIMA model and, and the SRIMA model. So we choose this to do the final prediction. And the right figure shows how the price will performance in the last two years. For the end of 2022, the stock price has shown a sharp downward. So, as the model prediction shows, in March 2023, the stock price will be very low, which is about 22.7. But in May 2023, the stock price will return to the normal levels, which is about 43, and uh, remain in this level. The Let's focus on the effect of the announcement of vaccine. We can see that the interrupted time series analysis result shows both beta 2 and beta 3 are statistically significant, shown at the tables after intervention and the consistent coefficient. So, this shows the effect of mRNA vaccine is significant. And then let's move forward to the conclusion part of my research. And this part have some conclusion of uh, both the uh, stock price prediction uh, and some suggestions to the real situation stockholders.
as mentioned before, I chose LSTM model to do the final prediction because it performed much better in the MIC level compared with the ARIMA model and the S-ARIMA model. And uh, uh, also, the stock in the next two years, the stock price will show a planned pattern, but we can see that with the effect of coefficient 19 subsize, the stock price will have a sharply decrease in between the end of 2022 to the beginning of 2023. But uh, generally, COVID-19 made the stock price go up about $10, which is not temporary. The stock price will remain in this level. And uh, the physics company will have some improvement in the next two years. And uh, with the effect of COVID-19 subsides between November 2022 to May 2023, the physical stock price will drop for a period of time, which is an opportunity for the stockholders to buy more stock. And uh, in the future, I will choose more model to do a uh, more current prediction to the stock price and uh, introduce and uh, conclude more factors in the real stock market in this research. That's all my presentation. Thank you for listening. If there are any questions, welcome to connect me. Thank you.